Hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of. If you're joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome. Thanks for taking the time to click on this Bath and Body Works online body care haul. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, as always, welcome on back. I'm actually really excited to haul this for you guys. To be honest, I wasn't even planning on doing a video. This happened, it arrived earlier than I expected, and I figured some of you are still doing your Christmas shopping, so I figured why not haul this, and even if you're watching this video after the holiday season, a lot of these scents are um, non-seasonal, so I figured I'll give you guys my first sniff impression on all these products, and maybe it'll help you make a decision on whether it's a product you may or may not want to purchase. Before I dive into today's video, I just want to say happy holidays, Merry Christmas to all of you. This is most certainly going to be the last video I do for the holiday season. Those of you who have followed me for a while, I obviously didn't get a chance to do as many Christmas candle reviews as I have in seasons past. Um, that's why I'm hopping on here now to share this body care with you and at least get a video up and out uh, before Christmas. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Christmas kind of snuck up on us. I feel it was like the blink of an eye. I can't believe it'll already be Yankee semi-annual, Bath and Body Works semi-annual. The next videos you'll probably see from me will be either a Yankee or a Bath and Body Works online SAS haul, which is crazy to say, but that's what's next. Um, all of these items that I'm going to be talking about today, like I said, I'll do a first sniff impression on all of them. They're all Bath and Body Works body care items. They were purchased from a $5.95 uh, promotion. It was all body care. I didn't even expect or realize they were doing the promotion. I just happened to be on Bath and Body Works website at the right place at the right time and saw the $5.95 body care. They were selling out really, really quickly because it wasn't just the standard body care. It was scrubs. Um, it was some of their like um, their bubble baths. Their, a lot of their products that typically don't go on promotion, aromatherapy. So I definitely stocked up. Some of these are gifts and some of them are for me. <laughs> so I figured you guys would enjoy watching me unbox it. So without further ado, let's just, um, let's jump into today's video. All right, you guys, before I dive into the haul, those of you who have followed me for a while know I'm really big on how companies send products and kind of the, the general packaging of everything. This is how it came shipped to me. So everything kind of flung into the box. The one thing I do appreciate is that they did put the one aromatherapy item inside cardboard. It looks like it may have leaked a little bit or maybe that's from the other products, but I appreciate that they put this in here because these are like a thicker glass. So if it gets jostled around, it's not gonna break. Definitely appreciate that. And as I said on the packing slip, these were $5.95. The one thing that kind of stings and when Bath & Body Works does these promotions, this wasn't a $5.95 sale. So if you put them in your basket, they didn't automatically come up as $5.95. You did have to enter a coupon code in there to get them for the $5.95, which means if you had other coupons, like a free shipping coupon or any coupon, 20% off, 10 off 40, you would not have been able to use it or stack them. So that's the only gripe I have with this promotion, but overall, not, not a bad deal at all. And they came packaged okay. Doesn't look like anything's broken or busted open. I'm gonna grab at random and kind of show you guys what I got. These are actually going to be gifts. This is, and you guys don't see me haul body care too, too much, Almond Blossom. I got the spray and the Ultra Shea body cream. If I'm going to wear a Bath & Body Works like spray or anything like that, this is probably the one I'll wear. Um, I don't wear their perfumes or sprays too, too much, but I've always found this one to be super, super pretty. I fell in love with it when they launched it in their Essentials line, um, which came out like three or four years ago now. And they've, I think, always had it ever since. Let me read you the notes for Almond Blossom. The notes are sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. And it just says warm and cozy on the back. And it is, it's just a really warm, cozy fragrance. Very, very feminine, very, very light. Um, but not perfumey. Um, I feel like a lot of people would enjoy this. I feel like even a guy would probably enjoy the, um, the lotion or even the spray. It would even make a nice pillow mist. So that's the almond blossom right there. And then the one aromatherapy item that I was telling you about that came kind of packaged nicely in that cardboard that's glass is the Sleep Body Lotion. And this is lavender vanilla. One of my favorites, um, the notes are just lavender and vanilla. And they're saying lavender oil with vanilla 
absolute. I do like the aromatherapy body lotions. I love the packaging of these. They're convenient. The dispenser is easy to use, so I always enjoy using these ones. I did get a couple other aromatherapy items, and one of them, I was actually surprised it was even in the promotion. So I grabbed two lotions. I grabbed the Ultra Shea Body Cream in Sleep, which again is another lavender vanilla. Also, I don't typically use these because they're so, so rich and very, very moisturizing. A little goes a long way with these. This is gonna last me a really long time, um, is the Sleep Body Butter. So I was surprised this was on promotion. These are typically, I think either 16 or 18. So 5.95 is not a bad deal. If you've never used, let me show you, if you've never used the Ultra Shea Body Butters, they're very, very thick. Very, very moisturizing. Again, little goes a long way. And then the other aromatherapy item, I was surprised this was even on sale. It's a pillow mist, it's sleep. This is lavender and cedar wood. And the one thing I noticed, Bath & Body Works looks like they've rebranded some of their aromatherapy. Again, I'm totally out of the loop on a lot of the body care with Bath & Body Works because I just don't buy their body care that much. Um, but the one thing as a consumer I noticed might be confusing is they're saying this is sleep. This is sleep lavender vanilla, and this is sleep lavender cedar wood. So if you're shopping in store or online, just because it says sleep doesn't mean it's the same fragrance. So just kind of keep that in mind. The other items are all gonna be from, I think their signature core line, with the exception of this Coco Shea Moisturizing Body Wash. I love the Coco Shea line. They used to have it was a little it used to be a little more extensive i think they had another fragrance um and they used to ha I think have lotions i think now they only have the moisturizing body wash and then the ultra shea body cream they did used to carry a lotion i don't know if it's still around or not this is just a very light light fragrance um very non-offensive <laughs> just a very um kind of refreshing moisturizing scent this one's just cocoa butter and shea butter. It says the ultimate collection of skin loving products. And again, I like the moisturizing body washes during the winter. If you have sensitive skin um, or if your pores clog pretty easily, you might want to be cautious with the ultra shea, ultra moisturizing body washes because they are very, very nourishing. I personally only use them during the winter months. They're a little too much for the summer months. The other items I have, so this scent, I found, I fell in love with it when I bought the candle and I kind of went a little crazy <laughs> with, with the body care of it, but I really like this fragrance. And this was new for the 2020 holiday season and that's You're the One. So this is one of their new signature line fragrances. Don't know if it'll stick around, but I grabbed a few of them just in case they wind up not keeping it. I think they will. I think it's a very pretty scent. If you're a fan of like Thousand Wishes, um, Japanese Cherry Blossom, some of those semi-floral yet perfumey type scents, you might like this one. This has a hint of sweetness to it as well, so it's not overly floral or overly perfumey. Let me read you the notes. So the notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. I don't get strawberry from this. I'm not a fan of fruity scents for body care. Um, I'm very particular with fruity scents for even home fragrance, and I like this one. So, you know, if you're looking online and you want something that's pretty, that's a semi-feminine scent that isn't overly perfumey, um, you might wanna check this one out. It's kind of the, the perfect balance. So I wound up grabbing the Moisturizing Body Wash, Ultra Shea Body Cream, and the Shower Gel, and you're the one. I also grabbed, this is a gift, men's uh, three-in-one body care in bourbon. I have never smelt this one before, or if I have, it's been a long time. So let me give you guys my, my first sniff impression on this. It's, it's nice. It's not as, nowhere near as intense as mahogany teakwood. They used to make mahogany teakwood in a men's line. This seems much more toned down. Still has the warmth that mahogany teakwood would, but it's not as intense. It has a little bit of a rustic, rustic touch, so that's bourbon. I also grabbed, we have a couple more items here. 
So this one is one I bought sight unsniffed. I bought it based just on the scent notes. This is a new scent. I don't know if this is like a play on their Thousand Wishes that they launched, you know, all those years back. But this one's called A Thousand Christmas Wishes. Beautiful packaging this year on these items. So the notes are pomegranate, prosecco, sweet elderberries, jasmine, and sugared woods. So I'm not a fan of fruity scents, but I saw the jasmine and I saw the woods note. So I figured I'd give it a try. Let's see what it smells like. Um, it's okay. Um, not bad at all. If you like a semi fruity scent that's bright and semi fruity, you might like this. If you if you like Thousand Wishes, you might like this one. Um, to me, I feel like Thousand Wishes has a little bit more of a warmth, a little more of a perfumey note. If you like Champagne Toast in body care, you might like this one too. This is probably not gonna be a repurchase for me, but also not a return either. It's, it's not bad. And then it looks like I got a freebie. I, <laughs> I definitely did not order this. Uh, a body spray of Winterberry Wonder. I have smelt this before, but it's been years, and I believe, I think it's just too fruity for me. Let me see. I'll tell you guys what it smells like. Yeah. Um, if you like fruitier scents, you might like this one. I know this one's popular, so I'm not knocking it. It's just too sweet for me. The notes are cranberry, um, winterberry, and vanilla. I definitely get that cranberry and vanilla. I think this would make a really pretty candle if you like like frosted cranberry <laughs> and you want it in a body care then you might like this it's not as sweet as frosted cranberry it's got a little bit more of a vanilla note but if you know what frosted cranberry smells like and you want it in a body care you might want to check out winterberry wonder this is definitely going to be a return for me i don't know why it was even so it's not even on my um, packing slip. This was probably an oopsie from Bath and Body Works. I'll still check to see if they will exchange it for me because I'm definitely not going to be using this one. And you guys, that, is that it? Yes. That's it. That's it. On my $5.95 Bath and Body Works online haul, if you have used any of these fragrances, leave it in the comments below. Let me know which ones are your favorites. Let me know what you're using right now. Let me know, did you guys do the $5.95 body care? Uh, if you did, let me know what you wound up getting. Before I sign off, I also want to mention to you that I'm on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, uh, purchases, hauls, vendor wax, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. That is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, weekend awesome holiday season. Merry Christmas, you guys. Uh, I will see you maybe shortly after Christmas or in the new year, uh, whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later.